Hey, what's up, guys? I want to show you this. This is my EDC part two. This is the bag that I have with me 90% of the time. It's got some flaws. It's got a couple things that it does wrong, but for the most part, it's 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 a okay for me. I, again, I carry it literally everywhere. I lock it up uh, when I leave if there's something valuable in it. But it's a uh, it's just the Indiana Jones bag, right? It's pretty loaded. I've uh, added a few things to it, taken a couple things away. I probably have to take a few more things away. I'm gonna adapt. I want to show you this. So it's got a thing here, uh, a handle. All you do is grab that and it's open, right? Guess what I have in here? Uh, flux defense on a 17, right? Also, I keep a chest rig in here. It's just the Chicom, what do they call these, 80? I don't know. It's for the sub gun. I have it staged where I can just throw it, rip it out of here and throw it on. Or I can pull mags from it here. So, you know, mags, you know how they work, right? Um, I'll close this. I don't know if I showed this on my last video, EDC-1. The um, This is actually the EDC-L2T with a theorem. All I have to do is I can reach right here and grab it, you know, five lumens, 1200 lumens or a thousand lumens, whatever they are. Uh, if I have to, you know what I mean? I can go back to here. It just keeps it in your hand. Uh, reloads are simple. It works. It's a, it's a pretty good tool. I actually use this more than about anything that I carry especially the five lumen. Fantastic. Um, just gonna take the bag off, so. I'm gonna move it down a little bit. A little bit more. So in the front, this bag, I think they make a new one that's uh, similar to this, but they fixed the things that, this, that was wrong with this one. Give a shout out to uh, Mostly Knives. Cool guy. Uh, it has a panel for patches. I don't want to talk really about the bag, but you can make your bag very similar to this, but um, this is what I carry. So it has a, you guys have seen these. Some, I'm sure somebody's done a review on this bag. It's old. You just pull this and I have access to my medical. Most of my medical. In here is like shears, uh, nasal, um, chest, seals, uh, blankets, just a little stuff, right? The, to keep it mainly from rolling around in here, because this is, you know, this can be pulled open pretty easy. So I keep this in here, it kind of locks all my stuff. These bags, they're like pencil cases or something. You get them at Walmart for a couple bucks. They're a, the poor man's DACA pouch. So invest. I keep those, those guys. Couple extra tourniquets, uh, Israelis, times three, four, uh, Sharpie, uh, duct tape, it's all there. So that's mainly it. I can put this back really easy and I have access to a tourniquet that if it's not on my body, I have very quick access to it. It has a piece of Velcro right here. And it's back together, right? So this side, I usually just, uh, you know, whatever, flashlight. The other side, it's actually empty at the moment. It's just a Yeti with my old shop sticker logo. Put this on it. Well, actually, I mainly just carry this for if I need a bottle, right? If I need something to uh, put water in when I'm, if I'm have to be mobile, right? Uh, put anything in, right? So there it is. Uh, this pouch, I'm in this a lot. It's very accessible. It's just an admin, batteries, extra batteries, a lighter, charger, meds, naproxen, not dope, 
uh, you know, whatever you need to keep in there that's accessible, you need to, you need to access quick. Um, actually, another Gerber, right? So that's really what I keep in here. This pouch what used to be full of stuff. The, the, main, the main pouch used to be, I keep, it, I keep it accessible if I have to put my laptop in here. Throws right in, pretty big laptop. I don't even know what size it is, uh, what size it is, but extra socks. If you know this brand, you know, fantastic. Uh, actually, my knife's in here right now. Actually, I have a flask of uh, some Blantons, maybe. I think these are called Hill, Hillcox Keys. Have access to urban water. Uh, there's another one that I need to get, but I've actually used this to, at a couple stores to wash my boots off. <laughs> Being a mine and I get nasty and I just, you know, use their hose and, and do it. Uh, another blanket in here. Another emergency blanket. This, this uh, SOL brand's pretty cool, Saul brand, whatever. Just a fire starter and the keys to my, my safe, or my, my locks on my, in my truck. Oh, you've seen that. I've never used this, but it's just basically their version of the live straw. I like it because it was smaller and it had a cap. And it fits in here really, really smooth. Uh, my fresh mechanics actually keep another one of these. This was actually probably military. I, it may have come from Walmart. Um, this has, if I've got to walk, I've actually done it a few times. My, my feet get uh, tore up. We'll talk about that another day. Um, the boots that I currently wear. Moleskin, uh, some smaller tools, you know, small pair of channel locks. Um, we call these other things, but they're just a, a little Chapman set, just for small. And I've, I've used it several times, working on, working on, uh, you know, tightening up terminals, stuff like that. This is very important. Antibiotic cream. Um, if you're walking. Stuff's rubbing together, especially if you're a big guy. So you want to keep that on there. Just, I even have this in there. It's a dental fix kit. The other one had some, uh, my other pouch like this has pepper spray wipes. So I can clean if I get hit, for some reason, if I get hit with pepper spray, I'm cleaning that off my face. Or I have a, a, the ability to, right? I usually stay out of uh, urban areas as much as possible. I'm a heel. Hill folk. So that's really it, guys. The other side, just ink pens. Uh, you know, you have spots for, for to put things. And uh, the the most that this bag carries is the the chest rig that I would actually like to make smaller. Um, but it is what it is for now. This is normally what I carry. I would love to carry a rifle, and sometimes I do. Uh, the bag setup for that is. It's cheap, it's a Walmart, waterproof, whatever that brand is. Um, it's a waterproof bag, chest rig, rifle, when I carry that. Um, but I don't know what the YouTube laws are for the showing you this stuff. Uh, it has a button on the side, stock comes out. Uh, I have a video on this. I actually train with this stuff and it's I'm pretty quick. It's not hard to get quick with these, getting out of this bag. And I don't know what to call this, but this is my extended EDC. We'll call it EDC two. Again, this is with me everywhere I go. So know your gear, train with your gear and give yourself feedback, learn and have fun doing it. So, all right guys, have a good one. I hope I covered everything. I think I did. I'm going to drink some of this bourbon. You guys have a good one.